But um, yeah, it's the final episode tonight, guys, at 7 p.m. I probably won't be able to, able to watch it. You guys will find out why soon. Um, but um, I'll be I'll watch it at some point. I just won't be able to watch it on time tonight. Um, but yeah, guys, just watch it. It's gonna be a really good episode. And um, yeah, let's get started with my experience with splits for life. Overall, guys, it was really fun. Um, I often tell people that um, these shows, roadies, splits for life and stuff, they happen. And um, I, it was never when I moved to India. It was never sort of my plan to. Um, get into like reality TV shows or anything like that. Um, I moved to India to start a business like a vegan uh, brand and that sort of like I randomly got into this and like I really enjoyed it. So for me um, last year in the month of March we went for roadies and that was fun. It was like one month um, you know you're going from different you're going to different places every few days you're living in tents and stuff like that the whole experience was really fun um, after that uh, splits will have happened and um, again it was a very sort of um, to me at that point I was like you know there's I could definitely give it a go why not right so I went to splits will we went in the month of June June last year so it's been like um, yeah, almost like seven, eight months now. And yeah, like um, Splitsula, you guys know my journey. It was uh, quite fun. It was, um, yeah, living over there, the whole experience. And like for me, I haven't sort of uh, been, I haven't grown up um, in sort of like an Indian environment all the time. So I really did enjoy that. I had like um, made some nice friends over there, met some amazing people. The whole experience from day one to the last day especially up north we were near the national park and um, yeah it was I, I think it was like such a like a really good place to uh, do the thing um now i'm gonna ask you guys for questions because i like my story was i think um i'm like supposed to talk about my journey over here so if there's anything that you guys want to ask Um, let me try to think, what were the best parts? So splits for that, like for me, um, what do I remember the most? The dance thing was pretty intense. I mean, like, um, yeah, like Shruti is an amazing dancer, so that just goes without saying. I struggle a lot. Um, so yeah, that was um, like quite fun. Uh, picked it up in a few hours. We were literally, I think we got told about that in the morning and um, at night we had to perform or something like that and i remember we performed like late at night and I, i'd sort of like forgotten the whole thing i took notes and everything i wrote it down like step by step so that i remember it um but it was um yeah quite a struggle i think i need to work on my dancing skills even when i go out i'm like the most reluctant person to dance so like uh, you know someone has to make me dance or something like that Sorry, yeah, I just read someone say that Rohan take people's comments, yeah, I should. I'm seeing a lot of hellos and stuff, so I just sort of... I see someone from Oman. When will you... I grew up, I, so the first six years of my life, uh, I was in Oman, in Muscat. And the next six years in Dubai. And, yeah. I'm going to blabber a bit more about my story. Um, let's see. What else? Um, the whole month, when I, when I got evicted or when I got out, I was like, um, so we were staying. Uh, so the whole thing from the time I got evicted to when we came back in the semifinals, it was five days. And um, yeah, we were staying at uh, like another hotel. Although in the daytime, we would come and sit at the reception of the resort where it was uh, where Smith and I was shot. Um, so I was sitting at, um, yeah, just sit there because like the food was good over there. So uh, I wait for breakfast and wait for, I did wait for dinner. I had my, my uh, little book to read 
and um, yeah, I'll just write and stuff, just like try to spend the day. It was pretty cool. Uh, Simba came in the day of day or two after, and like um, yeah, then like uh, so we didn't have our wallets in this whole time, right? So the five days after getting out. Um, we, we didn't have our wallet, so we couldn't, it's not like we could have gone and explored Jim Corbin National Park and stuff as well. So, um, yeah, we would just chill, um, work out a little, this and that. I, I, oh, so this is like a little secret. Um, so we would sit at the reception, right? And because we got evicted, we were not allowed to go into the main area where the other contestants were. Um, but I used to sneak in. I used to, um, well, just random stuff. So, like, someone got, like, blue lace and stuff. So, I would go and, like, uh, I'd keep it in Shruti's bag and just, like, a little letter along with that and stuff as well. So, yeah, I would just sneak in, see what, like, how everything is and stuff. Now, MTV people might be a bit pissed off about this, but, um, yeah, I used to do that. I did nothing illegal. Um, but, like, yeah, it was just for fun. What else? Um, let's, do guys, any questions? Anything that you want to ask? Uh, I just read that someone came to the buy mall, but you didn't get to meet me. I was there, guys. I was waiting on time, and then I met someone inside, and yeah. I'm surprised you didn't see me. Oh, it was a bit of a crowded place as well. Um, so maybe like you probably skipped me, but that's all right. I may come, my parents live in Dubai, so I definitely will come down in the near future as well. Why don't I go back to Australia? People are dying to live there. Guys, I'm like, you're living in India, like people should live in India. It's like, um, so the reason why I moved to India in the first place was to start the business. But why did I choose India? Because the opportunities in India right now beat everything else in the world there's nothing as hot as india right now so guys if you whatever you guys are doing starting working like anything just like india is the place to be and just make the best of it like literally you succeed in india you could succeed anywhere else in the world just to give you an example um india's population i mean mumbai's population is about 21.5 22 million people all of Australia's population is about 23, 24 million people. So there's significant, um, I mean, like just the size of the country, we've got 1.3 billion people over here. And um, that just goes to show that, you know, anything you do around here, like if it works, if you scale it, you know, it could be big. I should get back to talking about Spitzvilla. Yeah, so guys, tonight is the episode. Um, what do I have to say about it? It's going to be a good episode. You may hear me or watch me or see me demonstrating my talents a little. Um, I mean, like, Shruti is, like, pretty, like, very talented already. So, like, um, to balance it, I'll be the horrible side of it. So, you know, like, that's, that's how you bring balance. Who will win today? You guys will find out tonight. Um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty good episode. I'm thinking, is there anything else I can share with you guys? I just keep uh, watch, keep watching my stories and stuff tonight. I'm going to, it's going to be quite different I'm hoping guys I'll tell you guys about it in a bit um, roadies or splits for if you had to pick one look guys for me like roadies was the first first experience so I'm definitely a lot more like you know it's like it sort of stands out um, splits for as well it was a very different experience it's like a reality dating show and the whole the genre is different what we go there for is different whereas roadies is more adventure and stuff you know you're there jumping off stuff like 
there's a bit of politicking and stuff, but I, I used to try to stay out of it as much as possible. Um, but yeah, like to me, it was fun. And like, you know, in roadies, like you sort of, be, I met Nikhil over there. Like we've all got like, we've got a fair bit in common and you know, just, it's all really fun. I mean, like that's what I enjoy most about it. So yeah. You guys, once again, I really do. Um, I'm hoping that we, like you guys and me, can connect more in the near future. And take care, guys. Love you. Bye bye.